This is the book of Ecclesiasticus 39 verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance within their fury lay on so scrolls in the time of destruction they pour out with force of peace of wrath of him that made it. And this is the book of 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times should come. And this is the book of Matthews. Uh, This is the book of Matthew 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shad, Ba'ashem, Akakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. And I say Shalom, and the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Ba'ashem, in the name of Mashiach, Abishai. Uh, those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwa Kadash, the whole tongue. And I say Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson that I want to bring out from 6abc.com. And I believe this happened uh, yesterday. This is from, uh, I would say, uh, over there in Pennsylvania, Delaware County. And it reads, this was updated one hour ago, and it reads, it says, Family members of six, says, uh, family members say six people presumed dead. In East Lance Down Lance Downey home, one officer released from hospital because I believe like two officers were shot and uh, six people were uh, dead, and there was a house fire as well, too, as of uh, yesterday. It says family members, uh, family members say six people presumed dead in East Lance Downey home, one officer released from hospital. East Lens Downey, Pennsylvania, uh, WPVI. Six people from the same family are presumed dead after a shooting and fire at a home in East Lens Downey, Delaware County on Wednesday. It says a survivor family member tells Action News that the family uh, says that the number includes the apparent governor. A fire that erupted in the home shortly after a gunfire that uh, left two officers injured left the building in ruins. Three bodies, including of a child and a gun, have been recovered from the chair rubble by Thursday afternoon. It says we still at the stage of trying to get into the house bit by piece. I mean bit by bit, discover bodies and evidence says Delaware County District Attorney Jake Stoss Stammer. It all began with a 911 call for a report of a shooting at 58 Lewis Avenue. The alleged shooter was identified by his mother as 43-year-old Chang Lee. And I believe uh, it was a black female. Uh, she had a... Uh, yeah, it was a black female and it was an Asian guy. You know, they was both married, and they had about, like, uh, I would say, like, three or four kids together. And I believe it was some domestic dispute they was arguing, and then he must have lost it and uh, shot two officers, and, and it was presumably, like, six people were dead, including the gunman, him as the 43-year-old, because he was the alleged suspect. It says it all began with a 911 call for a report of a shooting at 58 Lewis Avenue. The alleged gunman was identified by his mother, 43-year-old Chad Glee. I believe he was of Asian descent. It says Lee's mother, Chang Lee, told Action News that she heard Chad Lee had an argument with his 13-year-old niece in an upstairs bedroom. Chang Lee said she heard Chang Lee say he was going to get a gun. That when Chang Lee <coughs> said her husband took her out of the home and the shots were fired, Chang Lee said it was her husband who called 911. Chang Lee said she had no idea what Chad Lee had a gun and she went on to say her son had no known history of mental illness of uh, Chat Chang Lee is dead and Ching Lee told Action News uh, she went on to say her other son 
Zhao Li and his wife uh, Brenton Li were also presumed dead along with their three children. Uh, now Kalia 13, now Talia 17, and Xavier 10. So that was the husband and the uh, wife and to the right were well, their three kids. It says uh, exactly how many victims were shot. It is unclear and cause of death will be determined by autopsy crew spent the day trying to recover the bodies. Chen Li said the family did not have a history of arguments. Chen Li said she and her family came to the United States in 1981 and lived in the area for 40 years. It's believed the children went to school in the William Penn School District. District officials uh, released a statement on Thursday saying it is counseling. It is still gathering information and providing counseling, I meant to say. So it's a video clip and it should it show explain more details about the situation. Here we go. Breaking right now, a hero goes home. Lansdowne police officer David Shaza was released from the hospital late this afternoon. He is one of two officers who were shot in East Lansdowne yesterday while responding to reports of a child shot at a home on Lewis Avenue. The home was torched after the shooting with six people inside. It is Thursday afternoon. I'm Sarah Bloomquist. And I'm Gray Hall in for Brian. The big story on Action News is the breaking developments in yesterday's shooting and fire in East Lansdowne. Today we learned from a family member who tells us all six people inside the home were killed, including three children. They've been identified as the Lay family. We're told multiple generations live there in the house. And this is some video of that home on Lewis Avenue. Still a very active scene today. Uh, this just 24 hours after authorities were first called to that location. We have crews working this story from every angle. Action News reporter Maggie Kent is standing by at Penn Presbyterian Hospital with an update on the injured officers. Chad Pradelli spoke with a woman who identified herself as the mother of the suspected shooter. But we begin our coverage with Caroline Goggin, who's on the scene in East Lansdowne with the latest on the ongoing investigation. Caroline. Well, Sarah and Gray, as you mentioned, this is an active crime scene at this hour. It's been a really difficult one for crews to navigate. I want to give you a look at that scene right now here at 4 o'clock. Crews tell us the search continues for the remains of the people they fear are dead. And the DA tells us that the search could take some time. It's going to take hours. It might even take days. A recovery operation is currently underway in this Delaware County neighborhood. Crews spent part of the morning working to ensure this East Lansdowne home was stable enough to begin their search. There's like six feet of water in the basement. The walls could collapse at any time and there's still hot spots burning. Investigators are looking for answers after a dramatic scene played out late yesterday afternoon. Just before four o'clock, police say there was a call for a shooting at 58 Lewis Avenue. A call went out from our 911 center that 11 year old girl had been shot. When police arrived on scene, the DA says a suspect opened fire. Sources say they believe the shooter was firing from the third floor when the officers were struck. Two officers, one from Lansdowne, the other from East Lansdowne, were shot and dragged out of danger by Upper Darby Police. Our officers, numerous officers responded, got ballistic shields and were able to go onto that street, drag those officers out. The officers who were rushed to the hospital are expected to be okay. About 15 minutes after they were shot, officials say someone set the home on fire. The DA says the Lay family lived inside this home. There are at least three adults and three children who are unaccounted for and that we fear were in the home at the time of the shooting and the subsequent fire. A family member tells us those six people are dead and we have now learned two of their bodies have been recovered. We're still at the stage of trying to get into the house bit by bit and recover bodies and evidence. The DA tells us in addition to finding remains here on the scene this afternoon, they also recovered a rifle on this scene. Now, because they've deemed this scene unsafe, they're doing everything they can to make sure the police officers who are working here are being as careful as possible. As for how exactly yesterday's fire started, that is still under investigation. We are live in East Lansdowne. I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News. Gray. Okay, Caroline, thanks for the update. We switch now live to Action News reporter Chad Perdelli, who today spoke with the mother of the alleged shooter. We've learned that 
that she was actually inside the home when that violence erupted. Chad Lifer is there in East Lansdowne with the story. Chad, we can only imagine what that mother had to share with you. Gray, she survived, but sadly, most of her family did not. Still, she had the strength to speak to us. Chin Lei is alive, right but still here. reeling from the mass shooting in her home in East Lansdowne yesterday. Oh my God, I'm very sad. I'm very sad. Okay, that's why I tried to help her. Through her doctor, who translated for us, she walked us through the harrowing final wow. moments of her loved ones. She says her 43 year old son, Kun Lei, was arguing with his 13 year old niece, Nikayla Lei, in an upstairs bedroom when she says she heard her son was going to get a gun. Suddenly he, he used a gun. Exactly how many victims were shot is unclear and cause of death will be determined by an autopsy. She says she and her husband escaped out the front door, but she says her other son, Soong, his wife Brittany and their three children, 13 year old Nikayla, 10 year old Xavier and 17 year old Natayla, all are presumed to have died in the home. Cruz spent the day trying to recover the bodies. I asked her, uh, does your son have any medical problem, any mental problem before? He said, said, she said no. He did marry before and he did divorced. Chin Lei uh, says her you. husband called 911. Um, when police responded, they encountered heavy gunfire. Why Kun Lei and his niece were arguing is unclear. She says they didn't have a history of arguments and her son did not have any medical or mental illnesses of which she was aware. Very happy family. And suddenly something happened like that one. And the mother tells me she fled Vietnam here to the United States in 1981 and lived in this area for over four decades. Now, it's believed the three children went to schools in the William Penn School District. The district released a statement saying that it's still, it's still gathering information and providing counseling to other students. And in some late breaking news, just moments ago, we're told a third body was pulled from the rubble. Live in East Lands, down Chad Perdelli, Channel 6, Action News. Sarah? Yeah, such a tragedy, Chad. Thank you. Breaking right now, a hero goes home. This is the book of Matthew 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. <clears throat> Second Timothy's. Two and Second Timothy two and verse three. This know also that in the last days perilous times should come. And this is a uh, this is the book of Luke. Twelve and verse fifty one. Let's see, Luke 12 and verse 53. The father shall be divided against the son, the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Luke 12 and verse 52. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying of this uh, recent news article from uh, C, uh, 6abc.com updated uh, one hour ago and it reads family member says six people presumed dead at least in East uh, Lenstam home one officer released from hospital. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying with that I'd like to give all praises. In glory and honor too to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makarkadash, and the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach Havashai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole tongue. And Shalom to the uh, elders, while Akim, while Akwaf. And until next time, I will say Shalom.